What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a review slash comparison of the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Nova wireless headset. And this is an upgraded version of the SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless from which I will be doing the comparison with. There will also be an unboxing of a few accessories in this video as well. I had previously done an unboxing video of the um, Arctis Pro Nova wireless headset, but after reviewing all of the footage, the webcam um, footage actually came in messed up and there was a lot, I mean, a lot of stuttering. So I just figured I would save you guys the grief of having to actually watch that video. So in short, the um, SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro wireless headset does come with two five foot USB-C to USB type A cables, um, one 3.5 millimeter um, aux cable, one wireless base station from which we will be getting into what it looks like in just a second. And it does have a huge scroll wheel <laughs> and it does come with two lithium ion batteries. And yeah, those batteries are a lot smaller in this headset versus the original Arctis Pro wireless headset. So this headset alone does have a low latency of 2.5 gigahertz wireless band. Um, there is active noise cancellation in this from which the Arctis um, Pro Wireless did not have as well as a bi-directional noise cancellation um, via the retractable mic and this is it. It does have a battery life that is sitting up to a total of 44 hours, but it is 36 hours with Bluetooth on at the same time and that is um, how do you say it is, um, depending on how much usage you use on um, the headset. Uh, it does have, um, fast charge for 15 minutes. And if you do it for 15 minutes, it will give you about three hours of use. This headset is using a, um, version 5.0 Bluetooth wireless connection. Now that is not the most updated version, but it is still good. And the headset does stay in range for about 40 feet, but that all depends on what is around you and if there's anything obstructing um, that uh, connection going from one point to another, like walls. So once again, this is the headset and aesthetically it looks beautiful. On the left ear cup, we have your power button. Then we have your mute button and you can actually see the little orange on it. You can press that, it'll toggle it on and off as well as in the microphone, there is a little LED right here that turns red when it is mute. Then we have your volume scroll wheel on the headset. On the very bottom, we have your 3.5 millimeter jack. And then once again, we have your retractable mic. One thing that I like about this mic is that it is perfectly flushed with the headset once it is stowed versus the original Arctis um, Pro Wireless that like a little nipple that just like pops out. Boop. Yeah, so I like that they changed that on the Novas. On the right side, you have this one little um, button here strictly for Bluetooth. The ear cups, the ear cups are actually leather and they are not obviously um, the cloth weave. On top of the ear cups on both sides is uh, a little mic and this actually helps out for the uh, active noise cancellation. As for the band, it is a lot different than the ski band that came on the Arctis uh, Pro Wireless. The Novas actually just have this one that's adjustable and you can literally take it out and then put it back to your heart's content. And one thing else that I do like about this headset is that the actual ear cups are now adjustable. So you can extend them um, as you see fit. Me, I kind of like them smaller. 
I got small help. Just saying. Um, as for going back to the left ear cup, if you take off this plate, and this plate, even though it looks aluminum, it is actually plastic. Um, you have your um, USB type C um, charging port here if you wanted to charge the uh, headset just with the cable or if you go to the right ear cup you actually have the battery that is rechargeable via the base station now for the steel series pro wireless headset so the predecessor to the nova pro wireless um it does have the ski band that is adjustable and you can adjust it obviously to however you see fit but the ear cups do not um, extend everything for sizing is done with the ski band um, you do have your um, mic button your volume wheel then your um, charging ports your 3.5 millimeter jack port and then once again you do have the nipple um, microphone that does um, come in and out so it does retract however what you do have on this headset that you do not have on the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless headset is a on and off button dedicated for the Bluetooth. So this has it, the Nova Pro Wireless does not. Um, so as soon as you turn on the Nova Pro Wireless, you can connect Bluetooth, you know. You don't have to, but you can. Um, just like the other one, this has well, actually nothing on one of the air cups because the charging is done via um, this port right here. But on the other side is where the battery actually goes. One thing that I like about the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless base station is that it is a little bit um, smaller, but it does have this huge scroll wheel to actually go through all the profiles and stuff that is dedicated to the Nova Pro Wireless, as well as the back. So the back IO of this headset is amazing. It has um, two USB-C ports, as well as a line in and line out. That is all. You power this, um, this base station via USB-C, so you can plug it into an actual um, adapter that goes into the wall, or, you can plug it into a PlayStation. You can plug it into anything that uh, allows you to draw power via USB, which I love about this. And unfortunately, the normal Arctis Pro wireless base station is a lot bigger. It's a lot more square. Um, yes, it does have a scroll wheel as well, but the IO on it is ridiculous. You do have your um, line in and out, your optical in and out, a USB, and an optional DC um, port if needed. That is a lot of cables coming out of this base station. Like a lot. Um, so as you know, the original um, Arctis Pro Wireless does have a lot more cables that does come with it. And here's what they both look like side by side. This is the Nova. This is the regular Arctis Pro. Whoops. But yeah. Oh, and before I forget, this port is where the batteries actually charge. I actually have a battery in this one, and obviously I don't have the one in this one right now. So, both of these headsets actually work with the PC, Mac, PS5, PS4, but the Arctis Pro Wireless needs an extra adapter to actually work with the PS4 Slim, but they both also work with the Nintendo Switch. And you may need to update the Arctis Pro Wireless to be able to work with your PS5. So both headsets are able to use SteelSeries GG, which is the updating software for both headsets via PC. And as soon as you get one of these headsets, I would definitely go ahead, hook up the base station as well as the headset to your PC and update it as much as possible. Um, 
you will save yourself a lot of headache um, later on. Now, one thing that the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless does better than the regular Pro Wireless is that it does utilize and take advantage of what is called Sonar, which is a program inside SteelSeries GG, and it does that a lot better than the normal Arctis Pro Wireless does. And it's literally night and day. Like, it, it's, it's amazing what the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless can actually do uh, when it comes to using the sonar um, firmware. I'm sorry, uh, software. Now, I have been using the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless for several weeks now, and I will say that I love it. Like, love it so much. And it definitely has replaced my Arctis uh, Pro Wireless headset. However, as I did mention in this video, there are several pros and cons um, of the Arctis Pro Wireless over the Nova Pro Wireless. And all of those should be taken into account if you want to get one or the other, if you do not already have one. Now, if you already have an Arctis Pro Wireless, I would use this review to determine whether you think it is worth upgrading to the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. Because it may be for some, it may not be for others. However, for me personally, being a gamer, and I take gaming very seriously, it was worth the um, increase in price. Um, it definitely is uh, pricey, pricey. <laughs> but it was worth it for me. It may not be worth it for you. And plus, right now you can find Arctis Pro Wirelesses on um, eBay, Macari, Amazon, used for a lot cheaper than you can get an Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. So that's another thing to take into consideration. So let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. So I have a box here and we are going to be unboxing, obviously what's inside. pretty big box for uh, this little thing. So we have an Arctis Nova booster pack. Kind of like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is what the box looks like. Let's go ahead. Apparently it opens from the bottom because the top is glued. That's weird. Ooh. So this is a new headband and um, face plates for the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless and they are red. That actually looks pretty badass. And so this is what the headset looks like with the red headband on. And I will say that actually looks pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think about the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless versus the Arctis Pro Wireless um, headsets down in the comment section below. Let me know if you actually have one or if you're willing or thinking about upgrading to one of the two um, headsets. And like I said, most likely I will be 100% moving to the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless headset um, because of all the benefits that it does give me um, while gaming, uh, especially on my PlayStation and my PC. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. 
I know you like them. Go. Go, 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 go.